Hello my digital nomads and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review of CF Spark. It's a powerful AI image generator with a commercial license. Now before we begin I would like to say for full disclosure this is a sponsored video by CF Spark Creative Fabrica and I just want to even if it wasn't a sponsored video I think this uh, software is amazing and I would have introduced it myself. Okay so with that out of the way let's begin. Um, when you go to CF Spark, they're going to have several different uh, software suits. You got CF Spark Art, CF Spark Writer, and CF Spark Pattern. We're going to be covering CF Spark Art. All right. So when you get here, you go to Create Art. And then from here, after you create the art, you'll realize you will see that there are... Uh, several different choices that you can pick from uh, right here right away you have credits let me get into that later on but right now if you want to create an image all you would have to do is type in the text here and then whatever text that you'd like uh, whatever of, of the image you'd like you just type a description over here so for example they have uh, in the past I did a person playing with a devil sword and then they came up with stuff like this these images had a person playing with devil's toys All right, so then had these things right here uh, let's go with a devil oops now let's go with uh, a devil angel with angel wings And let's go with Ignite. And you can also pick, you know, if you want a specific style, you can go ahead and, and pick it here. All right. I just left it open so you can see what it looked like. And, you know, this is a web-based tool. So this is that's the wonderful thing about CS Spark. You just nothing to download. You don't have to risk, you know, installing a virus or anything like that. You simply go to the website, uh, sign up, and from there you type in what kind of image you like and these are the type of images that come out now that's pretty interesting right you got a devil cartoony with uh, wings here you got something abstract uh something you know kind of kind of modern right right here and if you want something hyper realistic just all hyper realistic you can do that again and let me go with let me just do the same thing and then i'm just going to go with hyper realistic and then click on it might and then see you can see the difference between the renderings right the first iteration and the second iteration if it's just hyper realistic i prefer hyper realistic because i like oops i like uh something that's hyper realistic oh, this didn't come out let me try again no Illustrations. Okay. So then you can, uh, what you can do with this, let me show you what this is. This is speed up the creation process. So instead of, let's say every time you create something, it uh, is like a lag time. And if you want to speed it up, you can always use credits to do that. Now, for those of you who are interested, you know, if you really like this tool and you have to generate art, a lot of it, so this is hyper realistic this is what you can expect that's pretty pretty neat All right. and this is the same thing again very very intricate and then you can do watercolor you can do photography you can do something that's cute cartoony painting um it's about the for those of you who are interested in using this tool it's about nine dollars a month for a subscription and you get a thousand uh, credits and these credits can be used to uh, basically speed up the creation process and it allows you to go to the top of the queue, right? Because there's a there's typically a queue, and sometimes you have to wait quite a while, right? Because this is a very powerful uh, AI image generator, and it's it's quite popular. Because uh, the cool thing about this is it's not it's made from the designer point of view. Because Creative Fabrica was actually 
it's a marketplace for uh, digital designs, digital graphics, they sell fonts, graphics, crafts, needleworks, that type of stuff. And it's a very, very large marketplace. So they built this from the designer point of view. And that's why the, the output, it shows. It shows really, really well. And let's go with, let's see. Oh, and the other thing is this is also ne uh, needed if you want to download your, you know, if you want, you want to use, a, you want to download the image, you also need credits to do that. So let's say I like, let's see. Oh, let's, let's say I like this, this image here, all right? So I can click on publish, all right? Oops, let me go back. Now I can, I can uh, click on publish or, you know, I can download it. Now, in order to download it, you would need to use your, your credits that you have here. So let me show you real quick how that would work. I go to my creations. Okay. Let's use uh, the old one. Let me go back. Let me try uh, devil and angel let's try something else okay devil and angel click on ignite now i'm in q30 okay this is a free account i'm showing the, the free process now i have zero speed up credits so that way it i have to wait until this counts down and then i'll get started and you can see it, it counting away 22 21 and so on and so forth. When it gets to zero, then I'll, I'll be able to use it. I can use uh, speed up credits to, you know, basically skip the queue. Or uh, I can also need. I also need these these credits to download the image and, and use it commercially. Now that's a key point. So if you want to use these image images commercial uh, commercially, or have a get a commercial license, you're going to have to download it. Okay. And just to, let me go over the licenses real quick so let me pull that up okay so when it comes down to the licensing this is this is how the licensing works all right so you'll find information on print on demand usages uh, with full print on demand products you are allowed to create and upload designs to POD sites that are the same or similar to the original you're allowed to use fonts to, to create quotes sentences or word art etc Generate unlimited sales via POD sites. Ship valid POD products worldwide. Okay. With full, and this is what you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to upload actual font files to POD sites. Make the digital files available for anyone to download other than uploading it to the POD site for selling. Keeping Keep selling full POD files without modification after uh, you end your subscription. All right. So, you have to make sure you understand the what what the license allows you to do and what it doesn't allow you to do. And I would say that you know, with a commercial license for these images, that's, that's pretty generous, All right. and it's pretty fair. It's also standard. So let's go back. Let's check out. Let's go check out the see. Okay, let's see. It's done. All right. And then from here you can I can go ahead and uh, see if I want to download this. Let me download this one here. So I'll publish it. Wait for it to publish, and then from there I can uh, go ahead and download. So uh, while we're waiting for that, I just want to go over other things as well. Uh, for those of you who are interested in signing up, there is a competition right for this month alone okay so it's only for december but if you look at the competition you can learn more about it here you can earn up to 100k or hundred thousand uh, dollars by creating with cf spark right? and the details are right here uh, you can go ahead and check it out but a hundred thousand dollars a chance of winning a hundred thousand uh, dollars for this month is is a really really good uh incentive to go ahead and try this out this is both free you can use it for free as you can see with a waiting period or you can just go ahead and pay for it and you can get uh, you can speed things up and get commercial license 
to do th stuff like print on demand. All right, so this should be almost done publishing. As you can see, it, it's it's very, very powerful AI image generator. Probably one of the more powerful ones out there. Um, and, and then, you know, the great thing is it's all web-based, so nothing to download. There's no system requirements. As long, so long as you have an internet connection, you should be able to, you know, to run CR Spark. All right, so let's see. Uh, wish for it to publish. Go ahead and open. All right. And then from here, to download it, I have to uh, activate my free trial. And uh, then I can get 10 downloads for free. All right. I'm going to leave it like that. So that, that's the restrictions on the free, the free account. Now, if you want to go ahead and... Uh, you know, do the paid one, you can use credits to go ahead and download this image. So it's quite nice. You can also share it and pin it as well. All right, very, very intricate. And it looks like it's hand drawn and it gives that illusion that it's hand drawn. So all in all, you know, what are my thoughts about uh, CF Spark? I think it's great for those who you know, want to get into digital art and, you know, don't really have the skill sets necessary to create artwork such as this. And you know, what is it good for? You can use it for stuff like uh, Fiverr. Let's see. So you not well, you know, provided that you have, um, you know, you you have a membership and you get the commercial license, um, you may be able to do things like print on demand. Let's see, print on demand uh, designs. Okay. All right, so you can do designs. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if some of them are using some of these, you know, are actually done by AI, AI, um, our image generators. And, and they're not that, I don't think that's not that great compared to what you can get from CS Spark. So I'm just throwing stuff out there. You're going to have to look into the, uh, you know, the nitty gritty to see how, you know, to see how it would work, but definitely you would need a commercial license and then you would, you know, you would have to look in the print on demand. All right, so if you were to do like a design for a t-shirt, um, you know, maybe you would have to modify it a bit. Okay. So instead of getting it uh, directly, you know, you can uh, modify it a bit, or you can maybe do it for a t-shirt site. All right. You can definitely do, uh, they have different uh, t-shirt site. You can definitely uh, create images for and upload the image to that site to sell the t-shirt where they print it on demand. All right. So these are just ideas that, you know, um, I want to let you know to open up the, the different ideas so that uh, so you can uh, explore AI technology and increase your workflow. But all in all, I think it's a very powerful website. I really like how it's, it was built for designers and designed for designers, and it really shows. I mean, this is really art artistic, and for me, it would probably take me maybe uh, I don't know maybe a couple of years to be able to draw something like this. But using AI. Um, an image generator, I, I can do it very quickly. And since if I if I'm a paid membership, I'm allowed to get a commercial license. Now, obviously, there's limitations to that, like I stated earlier. But still, that, that is quite amazing. It's very generous. So for those of you who want to go ahead and try it out, it's it's free, uh, free to try out. And if you want are interested, there's also like I said earlier, there is a uh, competition going on where you can go ahead and uh, when, if you create uh, with CS Spark, you have a chance to win up to $100,000. So please check this out. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the